What's up guys? My boy Jesse James West came to Nashville, Tennessee Let's to see go. if he can survive 24 hours with me. We're gonna train together. You're gonna eat like me. You're gonna sleep like me. Yeah. We're gonna get after it. We're gonna sleep together. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, I, I meant like together. a sleepover. Yeah, we sleep over. Sleep over. You're gonna sleep like me. We're gonna live the walk on life, the UFC fighter life for Let's 24 go. hours. Let's go. First things first, we're hitting the trail. Champion, <laughs> you're gonna break on one of these uphills. <laughs> Twenty five miles in. Catch it, don't switch sides. So you're leaning back from it, that ball ain't gonna hurt. Yeah, go again, run it back. Give me it! Lean into it, there we go. Lean into it, lean into the catch, lean into the catch. There you go, come on. There we go. Now we're working! Yes, good, flip it, thank you. Let's go! Come on, yeah. Give me that ball! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Good. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Michael. So once he gets his sled back. Come on. That's when we Fast. Go. One, two, three, four. Power. One, two, nice. three, four. There we go. Good stop. Hey, wait to go. Wait to go. Yep, yep. So you're not waiting on the sled. Yep. Come on, one, two, uh -huh. three. Yeah. Four. Good. There we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see how athletic I am. One, two, three, four, four. Good. Four. One, two, three, four. That is the weirdest thing I've ever Good. done. Now get up. High. High. One, two, three. Come on. Three. Come on. Four. Let's go. Push. 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 Turn it around. Let's go. Come on. Push. Push, 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 push. Yeah. Holy hell! Good job. Oh my god. Come on, push it! There we go. Three. Go! Yeah. Push. Let's go! Let's go! Be the best! Be the best! Push. Don't post on the way back. Last one, baby. On the stool between rounds. That's what we call this. How do you feel? Bye. Four days off killed me. Four day vacation. Don't ever do one of those. Yes, sir. Feel it. Yeah. What motivates you in moments like that? When you're really pushing. Wedding ring? My wife and kids. That's it. Everything else is noise. Huh? Everything else is noise. Respect. And pop. One. Three quarter bend. Pop. Two. Got to it. five. Once I finish five, I'm going to go straight into my vertical med ball toss. Okay. It's not about how you start, but how you finish. Yep. Three. Four. Five. Four. Yeah. Two. Listen, there's a lot of theories out there how you get strong. There's a lot of theories out there how you get quicker and faster. One of them, grab a barbell and get to work. Enough said. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Five. Drop it. Good. 
Good. Good. Good. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, I'm not Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, squeeze those glutes. Keep that core tight. Oh my god. Keep it close to your nose. Yeah. Nice, control that. There we go. There we go. Good. Just anymore because we don't ever do anything heavy and we don't really care about the time, right? We're never doing is it, PRs. Everybody is it about that PR? Hunt. I mean, is it about the uh, the output? Yeah, even like right now when I'm I'm hurting, I'm feeling it, but I think my ability just got screwed. I go back in. You get used to just doing that, even though you want to. I'll say your biggest accomplishment is your consistency because that's going to keep you in it. And I'm his, exper his experimental guinea pig. If he wants to do stuff for the other professional athletes, he tries it on me first. And if it's really hard for me, then he doesn't do it with wow. anybody else. But if I can do it pretty decent, he'll be like, okay, I can throw this in for something hard for the guys. What round of fighting, what round of fighting would we be in right now with this like this feeling? Well for me it goes it goes like this and this, because like I I was just really tired when I sat down here like 30 seconds ago and then all of a sudden it kind of goes away. But when you get to that deep can't really move your body, lactic acid, plus the lungs, plus the mental stress, which is your heart rate and all that stuff. When you hit that really, really hard, then you're like almost in a, a tough spot in the, in the fight. But if nothing compares to that, that's a, that's a whole nother That's like death's door. Really? Because you got some, for you, you're only worried about your own body giving up on you, not your body giving up on you while someone else is trying to take your head off. Yeah. So that's the, that's the thing in here. There's no opposition besides yourself in here. And really the biggest opposition inside of the cage is yourself, but with the physical, the physical uh, danger of another person's knees and elbows and punches. I can't imagine. I can't either, I don't know why I do it. There we go. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh damn, he goes in with the hat. Okay. There we oh. go. I didn't hey. want to overflow it too much. <laughs> How are you feeling? I think you forgot a little. You just got a nice little chill. There you go. There you go. Oh god. There we go. There we go. Five minutes. Hey, the good thing about where I'm at is I usually do it in the morning. I'll take half to school. And then the sun's usually like no way. Beaming right in. So we need to get down. You know, have you heard of Liver King? Yeah, I've heard of he's him. Big, he's big on the sun in the face. <laughs> yeah, sun in the face. He's big on the sun in the face. So <laughs> it actually kind of works out well with both of them. So. so I knew if I wanted to be my best version of myself, be the best father, husband, fighter, entrepreneur, businessman, every single area of my life, if I'm afraid to get in cold water when there's a lot of people, hold on. <laughs> every minute has to go under. When there's a lot of people already doing it, who am I to be afraid of it? So that's why I did it, because it was a huge fear of mine. Okay, it's getting cold here. You're, you're all right. You're starting, you're starting to shiver, man. Yeah, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. You survived it. Come on. I like to go to the last 10. Oh my god. All right, for the last 10 seconds, he's going completely underwater. Let's watch vibrate. Let's go! Let's go! Look at those abs! Let the water go back in so you don't waste it. Wow! <laughs> alright, you ready? You alright? You good? Yeah, you should. Oh my god. You can't think about it, you just gotta do it. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. You, you go in and then you go under right away, right? Yeah, right away. Oh! <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh! We didn't lose too much water. Oh! Now we're doing it. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! You think it's golden? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. My chest! Yeah. 
You act like you go to an ice bath. I do it every day. <laughs> My chest. It's dropping. <laughs> I'll be always pushing myself, which I, I'm always pushing myself, but at some point uh, it gets easy. Yeah. My easy is very hard, obviously. But doing something like this, which is actually harder than fighting, harder than training. This is harder than fighting. Fighting. For me, it is. Yeah. Wow. Because it's a new stimulus. Yeah. Go ahead. He's in. He's in. We're losing ice. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was the most painful thing I've ever felt in my life. Oh! I'm gonna. I need to run around a second. Hold on. Get up! Get up! Got to go get the sun. Okay. <laughs> what the? No. Oh. You're gonna need it. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, my friend. Come here, buddy. Let's go. Oh. All right, guys, we are fully entrenched in Jesse James West, living my life for way longer than he wants to, but no training camp would be complete without coming to Nashville MMA training camp, getting some MMA training in. I'm gonna put him through the ringer today and might even find someone to spar with him. And since I am the ultimate fighter coach, Coach Chandler, coach him up, see if I don't get him killed, but no promises, we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna smash this dude so badly today. <laughs> even though, even though we're on team here, I don't want the sound of your voice anymore. He said he can't do the splits. I said, well, I can. I'll make you do the splits. <laughs> I was making sure, like, okay, so you got a rep? Yeah. His knees weak, arms are heavy, bombing out his sweater, God. mom's spaghetti. Not that kind of rap, you idiot. Yeah, it's literally you gotta wrap, oh! your, hands. <laughs> you wrap your hands. Oh, oh no, I have no idea how to rap. You take this. Is it an intimate thing between like coach and, and fighter? Yeah. If you're rapping their Actually, hand? Actually, kind of it is. To be honest with you. What would you tell me if it was like a fight day? I'd say, listen, dude, there's no way you're gonna win this fight. You have no chance whatsoever, but it's the. It's the, uh, squeeze. it's the, uh, no, it's the journey that matters. It's okay. All, it's all that matters here is the journey. We're Not about on, winning. No, we're going on a journey here together. Okay. So you're going to lose this fight. Change it. Sometimes. I'm going to lose this fight? Yes, you're going to lose this fight. Sometimes you got to take That's what you tell your, your, your guy? That's what I would tell him, yeah. Really? It's reverse psychology. <laughs> I'm just looking at your eyes. Stop staring at me, dude. Squeeze You told me it was an intimate Look moment. Look at your finger. Okay, okay fine. Stop fine. staring at me. No. I was looking down. You got pretty eyes, dude. Yeah, That was 38%. That was 38%. 38. 
Is it good? Like on the, on the like pad pad, or you want me going to the thigh? No, you want to go thigh. So I'm like most here. Time, yeah. I mean, there's a lot. Shin, shin to thigh. Yeah, you want to go shin to thigh. Boom. Yeah, and you want to try to you want to try to get your knees through. See how your knee your knee is down the outside of my leg. Yeah. I want to actually try to get my knee. Oh. Tell my knee across the center yeah, line yeah, of your yeah. leg. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. God, dude, my shins, man. Yeah, you don't want to turn it over too much because then you hit your muscle. So you actually want to keep your kind of keep your toe up a little bit. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, you're vicious. Yo, this is terrifying. This is actually terrifying. Bro. Bro. You kill me, bro. I'm a cage animal! Heavy shots, what you have what you have good is explosiveness. Mm. So if you notice when I'm doing feints and feints and feints, if I just stand there and look at you, I let you get into a rhythm. And what you're always trying to do is get 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 a guy off of his rhythm. Okay. So by doing any kind of feints, so he goes from offense looking for something to oh I gotta go defense. Yep. Now, now you have to now he has to get back. Fight. He has to get back into his rhythm. Yeah. So you're doing a good job of feinting. Sick. Probably because you were watching me do I was, it too. Yeah. Because sometimes you, we feed off of, mm -hmm. off of each other, you start mimicking what your opponent is doing subconsciously. You're yeah. like, oh, he did that, or he th he threw a jab, he threw a, uh, a jab and a hook, or he's countering with the left hook. We start mimicking what our opponent is doing. So it's good. Right on. Seven point three out of ten, dude. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> 